The world is a funny place. Some areas of it are better than others at producing and appreciating great art. How is yours? In England, Scandinavia, or Canada, for example, musicians speak of stipends and state-funded art. Their country gives them money to live on while they produce music. They have a system in place which supports their artists. Music is very important and seen as a major export, and it works. It wasn't too long ago that Britpop was dominating global charts. Scandinavian bands have become successful for similar reasons. And let's not forget the K-pop or Korean pop groups. These kinds of observations and debates are one thing during a normal year, but they've become more pronounced, something else entirely in 2020. The COVID-19 pandemic has altered life as we know it and has tightened all belts. Sadly, one of the first things to be affected seems to be music. In an industry already receiving no support from our government, the pandemic has left musicians out in the cold. Theaters, clubs, and tours worldwide have grounded to a halt. Venues have shut their doors. This doesn't just affect the musicians either. It devastates the lives and careers of tour managers, sound engineers, club owners, roadies, lightning techs, their families, and on and on. 2020 has been an incredibly tumultuous year. The lockdown has changed a lot of perspectives. Perhaps in a positive light, it can change the way we treat the artists in our culture. America's major export of culture involves the arts and music. As we look to the future, regardless of the country you call home, let's make sure we don't forget those among us who have lost their sole means of living. Also understand that in the 21st century, with all the technical advances and such, the revenue stream for artists and musicians has drastically changed due to the digital landscape. Where the royalty framework from earlier times due to digital distribution has diminished the direct returns for the artists. It has been the live venues, the tours that have become the major source of livelihood for many. If the musicians cannot support themselves with the live revenue that gets reinvested into recording the music you love and hear, we all suffer. So find a way to help support them on GoFundMe, Patreon, and Kickstarter pages. Lobby your government representatives for more funding for the arts. Start local initiatives with philanthropic organizations, cultural institutions to also give assistance. Help save the music. Woo!